The Bolloré Group story began in Brittany near Quimper in 1822. Since the consolidation of Vivendi in 2016, it has had a turnover of 20 billion euros and employs nearly 85,000 people. It is one of the world's top 500 companies. Even though it is listed in the stock market, it is still mainly controlled by the Bolloré family. It is active in three businesses, transportation and logistics, content, media and communication, electricity storage. From its historic thin paper business, the Bolloré Group has expanded into the production of ultra-thin plastic films and become the world's leading manufacturer of capacitor components. Building on the foundation of its skills and expertise, including in electricity storage acquired in capacitors, and after over 20 years of research and development, the Group has developed an electric battery with a high temperature resistance technology, the lithium metal polymer. The all-solid design of this battery and the absence of solvents give it a high level of safety, cycling and performance which the group is constantly improving through its ongoing R&D efforts. Around this battery, the Bolloré Group has developed collective and individual transportation solutions and stationary solutions that address the ecological challenges of cities. As a result, the group has created a range of fully electric vehicles. The blue car, which is used mainly in car sharing. In 2011, the group won a call for tenders from the city of Paris to create Autolib, the first electric vehicle car sharing service in the world. Imagine des villes sans les bruits du trafic de l'automobile et sans les odeurs des gaz d'échappement. It was then chosen to deploy its car sharing systems in Lyon and Bordeaux, then in the United States in Indianapolis and Italy in Turin. In 2017, the group will deploy new car sharing services in Singapore, London and Los Angeles. Its subsidiaries, IER and Polyconseil, play an important role in the success of car sharing by designing and developing charging terminals and IT services. These car sharing services will represent 8,000 blue cars in circulation and 10,000 charging terminals. To date, 120,000 people have subscribed to the service and make about 6 million rentals per year. The Blue Summer, the electric convertible designed and developed by the Bolloré Group, has given way to the Citroën e Meari, which is produced and marketed by the PSA Group. More than 2,000 convertibles are currently circulating. Based on these initial achievements, the Group has developed electric buses, the 6-metre Blue Bus, which circulates in Paris, Tours, Lyon, Luxembourg and in Africa, and the 12-metre Blue Bus, 23 of which already circulate in some lines of the RATP in Paris. In addition, an 80-metre bus is currently under development. In addition to mobile applications, stationary applications ranging from a few kilowatt-hours to several megawatt-hours have been developed. For grid operators, these solutions make it possible to compensate for the intermittent nature of renewable energies and reinforce the reliability of the grids. Likewise, these solutions are also relevant both for large renewable power plants connected to the grid and for the electrification of rural and remote areas. Several installations of this type are in place, in particular the Blue Zone deployed in Africa and Cambodia, which are autonomous areas powered by electricity produced from photovoltaic panels where drinking water, internet access and various economic, cultural and sports services are available to the population. The Canal Olympia network comprising of movie theatres and showrooms deployed in West Africa by the Vivendi Group are also equipped with Blue Solution storage systems. Blue Storage has developed solutions for peak shaving industrial and diffuse load shedding and developed products that allow the hybridization of the generators often set up by industries in isolated areas. These achievements currently in operation around the world have demonstrated the robustness of LMP technology and its advantages over lithium iron whose sensitivity to heat makes it dependent on monitoring and cooling systems which makes it heavier and more expensive.